In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a wearable pin that gently cycles through the colors of the rainbow using Chibitronic's new Rainbow Fade animating LED. While I'll be demonstrating how to make a wearable in the shape of a butterfly, you can always modify your design to a shape of your choice. To get started, you'll need a variety of decorative papers to make your butterfly layers and a few other supplies including a rainbow fade animating LED, conductive fabric tape, and a coin cell battery. You'll also need a pin back, glue dots, a transparent gem, and scissors. To make a wearable butterfly pin, you'll need to cut a minimum of three paper layers. I used iridescent cardstock for the main part of my pin, with a translucent vellum in between to help diffuse the light. You can find a link to download my customizable cut file and circuit diagram in the description below. Starting with your circuit layer, which has the footprint for a rainbow fade animating LED scored in the center as a visual reference, flip the piece over to its back side. To hold your coin cell battery in place, add a glue dot to the back of your circuit layer. Then flip the piece back to the front side. To start creating the negative trace of the circuit, start removing the backing from a piece of conductive fabric tape. I find that it's helpful to use the pad of my finger to gently pull the fabric away from the backing. Add a piece of conductive fabric tape to the top half of the scored flower, wrapping it around the top of the butterfly piece and adhering it on top of the glue dot. Trim off the excess to prevent a short circuit. Next, adhere the battery on top of the sticky glue dot, negative side down. This first piece of conductive fabric tape will connect the negative side of the battery with the negative end of your LED. To create the positive trace of your circuit, adhere a second piece of conductive fabric tape to the lower part of the scored flower outline, wrapping it around the bottom edge of your butterfly piece and adhering it on top of the battery. Trim off the excess. The positive trace should not touch the negative one. Add a small piece of conductive fabric tape on top of the positive trace to increase the conductive surface area. Take a close look at your LED and notice that the narrow end, the one with two petals, is negative, while the broader end, the one with three petals, is labeled positive. Orient the sticker with the negative end toward the top of your butterfly. Something that I found to be a helpful trick, especially with an LED that might have been touched a lot or repositioned, is to adhere conductive fabric tape over the metal pads of the sticker and touching the leads that they're attached with. This will strengthen the physical and electrical connection of your circuit. It's not required, but it can come in handy. Once you've verified that your circuit is working well, adhere half of a glue dot over the hole in the back side of your translucent diffusion layer. Position the hole over the LED and press down. Don't worry, the glue dot will not affect your circuit. Repeat this step for your decorative layer. To help diffuse the light even more and to cover the gluey center, apply a clear rhinestone over the LED. The last step before wearing your pin is to add a pin back. If you have room above the battery, you may apply it there. 
or if you prefer, you may use the optional backing layer. To do so, add two foam squares to the wing tips of your circuit piece, apply the optional backing, and then adhere the pin. To turn off your butterfly pin, you can just remove the positive trace from the top of the battery. And now your pin is ready to wear or share.